Hi, my name is Richard Duffy. Many of you already know me through my various videos and blog posts and LinkedIn articles that I've written on the subject of SAP Business One, as well as, of course, the time that I spent 13 years or so uh, launching SAP Business One in Australia and then working with the product all around the world as an employee of SAP. What I'd like to do in this series of videos that are being put together to cover the Resolve solution from Achieve IT Solutions is I want to talk a little bit about the different components of the Resolve solution and how they will come together to help you build a complete logistics management application set for your business. So I thought what we'd do is we'd get started by just talking a little bit about an overview of what we're trying to achieve these days when it comes to running a digital business. Now you'll hear a lot about the term digital transformation, particularly from organizations like SAP. Uh, it's one of the key things that they believe that customers should be focused on. And it's certainly one of the things that many organizations in the large and mid-size enterprise space are thinking about. How do you actually take the investments that have been made in information technology, the new advances that have been made in information technology, how do you bring all those together to really drive a positive outcome for an organization? And a positive outcome in terms of things like building additional revenue streams, like reducing cost, uh, streamlining operations, uh, you know, getting better engagement from your internal people. So that's really what this whole idea of digital transformation is about. It's about utilizing information technology to drive business outcomes. So let's talk a little bit about um, this whole concept of digital business and transformation and what fundamentally uh, it is all about. Now, what I've done here, SAP do have a standard presentation that they provide for partners to enable those partners to tell the story about digital business, digital transformation, and how SAP Business One fits into that. What I'm doing in today's presentation is I'm utilizing components of that presentation and then what I want to do is help you understand how the Resolve solution maps hand in glove, if you like, to the entire SAP digital transformation strategy. So if you think about it, in the digital economy today, you have your businesses and those businesses are made up of certainly people and processes. And so then you also have this new concept of things. These are the products that a business makes. They are the uh, equipment that a business uses. Uh, all of these different components are all becoming more and more connected. You hear the different buzzwords all the time. Certainly one of the ones that is very, very important from a logistics business perspective is this whole concept of the Internet of Things. Because if you think about it, in the logistics space, that's really what a lot of it is, is, is about and where a lot of the advantages can be gained is in streamlining the way that things interact, the way that things or products move through the supply chain, um, how quickly and easily you can interact with your customers uh, and reduce the friction that exists in the transaction processes. So the whole concept behind digital business is about applying information technology to facilitate uh, and streamline that process of connection. So you've got companies that operate in a worldwide fashion and they're looking to enhance that interconnection between not only their branches, but also customers and other components of the, of the value chain that exist all around the world. These days, it's not uncommon to see organizations transacting, um, you know, tr even the smallest of organizations transacting on the scale and with the flexibility and sometimes complexity of large organizations. Why is this? Because there are now new intermediaries in the, the value chain. Just look at what is happening nowadays with Amazon and the different things that Amazon are doing to enable everyday businesses to take advantage of those economies of scale um, and those 
highly optimized and streamlined business processes that they've developed. So even the smallest of business has the opportunity to take advantage of those large business, scalable uh, business processes. So you've got that happening right throughout the world. And as I said, and that is now extending out into smaller regional companies, companies like yours and mine. Uh, I have my own business where we offer SAP Business One uh, cloud hosting. And we are now in a situation where uh, a company based out of Australia, we now have customers all over the Asia Pacific region. Why? Because this digital business, this, this mechanism that allows us to transact digitally has made it incredibly easy for people all around the region to do business with us. So you see it no matter what kind of business that you're in. And of course, for us as individuals, we see this concept, we see this, this transformation happening and how it impacts on us every single day, even down to simple things like, nowadays I can pull up to a petrol station, uh, open up an application on my iPhone, punch in um, the, the, the petrol station that I'm at, actually it re recognizes which one I'm at based on location services, just tell it which pump number I'm at, and then it goes ahead, I pay for my petrol, I fill up my car, I pay for my petrol, all on the app. I never need to go inside and, uh, and interact with anybody, although in some respects that's not necessarily a good thing, um, because it does have a tendency to you know, disintermediate human relationships. But that's again one of those things that, that I think we all need to think about. What do we do as businesses that makes up for some of those changes in the way that business processes take, uh, take place? So the transformation process is really about that. It's about taking your existing business models, recognizing that they're changing, um, and understanding that what is required is that businesses of all sizes need to become intelligent digital businesses. Now, the speed at which this happens will vary from organization to organization. But one of the key things you're gonna to need to bear in mind is you're gonna to have to have what is called a digital core. And that digital core is those primary information systems that exist inside your organization that help facilitate all the things that I'm about to talk about. So the enablers of this digital transformation are things like your analytics, being able to quickly and easily review the data that you have to extract information that helps you make decisions. Managing that data or data, depending on how you like to say it, you know, you, we're living in a world where there is a huge amount of data that you have to work with every single day. The organizations that are really winning in this digital transformation process are the ones that are understanding how to effectively utilize that combination of analytics and big data and use that to make better decisions. Now then wrap into that the, the, the technologies that sit around that, the, an area that I'm particularly uh, familiar with, the cloud technologies area. You know, no longer are you in a position where you are limited by your ability to invest in the latest technology. It's no longer capital purchases that you're making. You now have the ability to be able to take advantage of all of these things and do it at a fraction of the cost. Why? Because thanks to cloud technologies, you're actually only paying for a fraction of the total solution because it's being shared with you know, tens of hundreds of thousands of other businesses uh, around the around the world. Uh, maybe businesses in your local area, businesses in your country are all utilizing those cloud technologies. And then of course, the device of choice for most people these days is a mobile device. So you've got these mobile technologies. So you've got those four core pillars of the computing infrastructure. And then this is also being accelerated by the internet of things, uh, advances in your in machine learning and innovations like blockchain. Now, you know the IT industry is very subject to a lot of um, a lot of buzzwords. So, you know what one of the things that we try and do is talk less about you know things like the Internet of Things or machine learning or blockchain, but really talk about the business benefits that these that these 
technologies uh, and these new processes bring to bear. So that's really what we're going to talk a lot about as we go through this next series of videos. So these technologies are really designed to give you the ability to change your business models. We've been talking about agility and agile business for many, many years now. Back when I was working for Microsoft um, last century, I always love being able to say that, you know, you had uh, Bill Gates wrote a book, which was, I think, Business at the Speed of Thought, which was really all about being agile, being an agile business and being able to adapt rapidly. This is now a reality for businesses of all sizes. And you now have the, the ability to create new products and services in this digital economy. Of course, it's just a matter of determining what is the right way to go about it. And of course, having the right infrastructure in place. So if you think about it, if you are already utilizing SAP Business One, You've already made a choice to deploy a product. Let's call it a digital core. It's that central component of your uh, infrastructure that it enables you to take advantage of all these different pillars of digital transformation. So Business One today comes with, out of the box, really deep, rich analytics capabilities the ability to take advantage of cloud technologies, mobile technologies built in, the ability to work with big data thanks to the HANA database, uh, machine learning capabilities that you'll see in various components of the SAP Business One solution, and of course, having the ability to interact as part of the Internet of Things. And sitting on top of that is the, is the Resolve product from Achieve IT Solutions. So now, what Resolve basically does, and if you're a partner watching this presentation, watching this video, the thing that I'd really like you to take away from this video as, as the opening point for our discussion is that as SAP are out there talking about all of these different components, one of the interesting things is it can sometimes be a challenge to find the proof points, to find examples of where organizations are taking this and turning it into real products that are being used by real customers in real businesses today. And I think that's really the, the, the point that I would like you to bear in mind as we go through the rest of these videos in the series and we look in detail at Resolve. And you'll see I'm gonna be tying it back to each one of these different pillars of digital transformation as we go through. Importantly, um, as we talk about that idea of what is exactly happening with the, with the Resolve application and how does it help you uh, understand how those different SAP technologies and digital transformation comes together. It's important to understand that with Resolve, what you're getting is you're getting a solution that um, thanks to Tim and his team at Achieve IT Solutions, they made a decision and some people would say it was kind of very forward thinking and it, it definitely was forward thinking and, and Achieve were recognized for that. Uh, at a recent SAP partner event where they won an award uh, for the best usage of technology uh, as, part of a, as part of a solution that's available today. They're utilizing all these different components. Now, if you're a customer or a potential customer and you're looking at this screen, you might be thinking, what is all this jargon? What's a, what's a HANA XS server? What's a Fiori? What's a fuzzy search? And why do I care about these things? Well, to a certain extent, we're going to explain that as we go through, but from a partner's perspective, looking at this, the takeaway is that these are all the technologies that today, when you go to an SAP event, when you listen to the SAP leadership, when you listen to the SAP technology leaders talking about the different components that you need to be building on, what you're actually seeing here is almost the menu uh, of those different solutions. So Resolve is built on top of that. It's built using the very latest components in SAP HANA. It's built utilizing the SAP service layer. It has mobile applications that are built using the SAP Fiori and the UI5 um, user interface. 
it has components that are running on the SAP Cloud Platform and the SAP Cloud Platform services like the Translation Hub. And then it's utilizing inside things like the SAP User Interface UI5, that fuzzy search capability, which at the end of the day, when you're out there working in the warehouse and you're looking for information, you need to have access to that kind of technology because what it does is it makes your job easier. It makes it easier for you to get things done quickly and let's not to put too fine a point on it, everybody has to do more these days. Nobody, well, very few people have the flexibility to be able to single task. We're all operating in a multitasking world. And this is where this technology is really going to help you. So having said all of that, what I'd like to do is wrap up this introduction. And in our next video, we're gonna launch straight in and we're gonna start taking a look at these technologies and how they have been brought to bear uh, inside the Resolve solution.